Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's video, I want to make a box. I've got some of this pine left over from the acrylic paint holder. I've got a piece here a little bit larger, which I've milled down to the same thickness. That's going to be for my lid. This box is going to be roughly, I don't know, 12 by maybe six or seven. And I wanted to burn something into it. I've wanted to do this for quite a while now. I believe I saw um, a box. It was either in a movie or something, but it was just like this crazy, mysterious looking box. They had symbols and numbers and all kinds of stuff burned into it. It looked real cool. So I've always wanted to do something like that. And now that I've got my laser set up, I figured, well, why not? Okay, my joinery method for my corners are gonna be box joints. I'm actually gonna do that over on my table saw. When I finish that, I will bring you back in and I will show you all my pieces and we'll go from there. I've got all my pieces cut up and milled. I've got my front, my back, my two sides and my lid. The bottom will just be some scrap that I have laying around. You can see the very nice box joints. I was able to do that on my table saw. And I've also got my speed and power test. You can see at the slower speeds and full power, you get a real deep burn in there. I think for this video here, for this box, I think I'm gonna do something 100% power, maybe 40% speed. I like the way that looks. Um, I'll see how it looks. If I need to, I will do another burn, but I'm pretty sure that'll work out. Um, the only thing I don't really love about this wood is, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see the, the grain rings in there. And you can almost see this little section right here. And it burned kind of weird in that section. I think the, the graining is a little bit harder than the softer wood in between. So you get a little bit inconsistent. The camera's probably not gonna pick that up. But you can almost see that line going right across there. The piece of this square that is closer to my finger is actually not burned quite as deep as the corner right there away. That might do it. You might be able to see it right there. But anyway, I think it'll be good enough for this box. I can't wait to get this uh, burned. And I will show you guys the actual burning process next. There they are. 
They are all burned and ready to assemble. I love the way these turned out. This is exactly what I was thinking of. Just sort of a, just a different cryptic type looking box. I've already got the stain picked out for exactly what I want for the look that I'm going for. So again, I'm very excited. You can see that difference in the wood that I was talking about. The burns are a little bit different. Seems to be darker here than it is in here. But this is going to be stained. So I think it will all blend together beautifully. So I cannot wait to stain this up. So I'm going to glue this all together off camera. And then when I am ready to apply the stain, I will bring you guys back in. This is the state of the box now. I cut the lid off over at the table saw. I flushed up all my box joints. And then I added some 105 degree stay open hinges. That way you can leave the lid open like that and it'll stay. And then on the base and on the lid, I put some magnets there. And that just helps the lid stay closed. Kind of adds another dimension to this box. So I'm loving the way this is coming together. I'm going to add my favorite stain, which is Early American. And I will bring you guys back in when that is done. When I set out to make this box, I wanted to make a box that was unique. I wanted to make something that had a story to it, had a little bit of a history to it, and probably even a little bit of mystery. And I believe with this box, I achieved all of that. Here's a close-up. You guys can see all that aging that is now on this box due to me distressing it. I just basically used a claw hammer and I hit it with both ends of it. Certain areas like over between the seven and one, I sanded down basically to the bare wood. And down here between the five and the seven, I actually added some darker stain to give it some more layers. And then on the edges, I kind of sanded down, just replicating what normal wear and tear would be on a box. I think it gives it a mysterious look. Definitely gives it an old used look. Maybe this box housed something of importance, maybe something of power at one point. And I believe that's the story that this box tells. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Something different, something a little mysterious. And I am definitely happy with how this turned out. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.